All right, hello everybody, I'm Ben Costello. I've been coming to this church for about five years, and I have just recently become a member. I'm just gonna tell you about my story over there, how the past few years, how I've matured in Christ and grown closer to him. So I went to Upland High School, the local high school, and um, this made me aware that many of the people in this world don't have a Christian worldview or glorify him in their life. Um, one thing, I think it's always easier to point out the sin in the lives of other people than your own life. And this was no exception in high school. I was, my, for my first few years of high school, I, um, it was easy to notice the sin at a public high school. However, uh, I think it's harder to realize how you and yourself are sinful. Um, one thing that Pastor David has said a lot in his sermons is, you need to be killing sin or sin will be killing you. And my dad repeated this to me a lot in my high school years. However, I think I came to understand it more as I grew up. I always understood and believed the gospel of the Bible, but in high, in high school, this didn't quite affect the life, my life the way it should have. Sin slowly crept in my life, and it began to feel like it was a barrier in my relationship with God. Thankfully, it was quite soon that the Holy Spirit in my life showed me that I was a sinner and that I needed him in my life. My desire to read God's word and live it out grew, and for this I'm very thankful. Aside from when I was saved, this was the biggest point of spiritual growth in my life because I really matured in Christ and uh, began to desire him more in my life. Um, so in my senior year of high school, I decided where to go to college. This was a pretty big decision because uh, I'd, I'd worked really hard at school and um, in my senior year, I had lots of good opportunities to uh, go away to school, big um, secular universities. Um, and I couldn't really go to Christian college because my, I was majoring in engineering. Um, I was encouraged by many of my respected friends and teachers to take these opportunities and go away to college. And, um, but however, I didn't feel like I should do this because of many reasons. So I, I am going to Cal Poly right now in my, in my first year. Um, the first reason why I didn't go away to college was because going away, I knew it would bring a lot of temptations. I had been going to a public school. I knew the environment would be similar. However, I would be living in this environment for 24 hours for seven days a week. And this is not something I'd want to do. One thing I really enjoyed in high school was whenever I would come home after school, I would be able to hang out with my friends and family, many, many of whom really encouraged me in Christ. And for that, I'm also very thankful. The second thing, the reason why I wanted to stay here was I didn't want to leave the church, family, and friends that God had blessed me with. I don't think I'd be able to find a church nearly as good as this one for two reasons, the Bible teaching and also the community and the church and the relationships that I've already built. My family, I really enjoyed spending time with them and I didn't want to leave them either. And then for my friends, I've been very blessed with, especially over the past uh, two years about, with some very good friends that I intend on keeping through my entire life. And for this, I'm very thankful. So um, the three most important things that I've learned over the past one to two years, uh, the first one is don't underestimate your own sin and its consequences. I think we know this going to church. We've, we've read Bible verses. We've memorized Bible verses. However, this is a difficult thing to act out in your life. Um, we can, it's easy to spend time looking and thinking about the sin in the lives of other people, whether it's like people right around you or just in general other groups of people. The second big, biggest thing I've learned is don't underestimate the ability of God to transform your heart. And this is a really important thing that I've learned because um, the path away from sin isn't just to try harder, but it's to ask for help from God. Because I think me being a, liking to solve problems and stuff. Um, when I was stuck in sin, I, I just try to try harder, but it doesn't work. So you have to ask God for his help, and then the Holy Spirit can transform your heart and desires. And then the last was to don't underestimate the power of encouragement from those around you. So I just encourage all of you, especially the young people in junior high and high school, to focus on surrounding yourself with people who really encourage you in Christ. And many of you, I'm sure, have families who do this, but also friends. Um, they can go really, really valuable when you either have to make big decisions 
or when you need help and encouragement from them. So that's all I have.